The young girls aren't the only victims of sex trafficking. Statistics show an increase in young boys who are exploited too. Lauren Ashburn recently spoke with our next guest about raising awareness about male victims. Haley Halverson is the Director of Advocacy and Outreach at the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. Haley, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This is an underreported story. In your report, from 24 countries that you collected data from 2000 until today, you found that child sexual abuse estimates range from 3 to 17 percent for boys, mm -hmm. 8 to 31 percent for girls. Why isn't it known that sex abuse and sex trafficking is harming boys at an alarming rate? We're seeing really an era of silence around the sexual exploitation of boys and men. Society often promotes these myths that men or boys can't be victims. They're often met with more distrust than girls are when reporting those things. So the National Center on Sexual Exploitation is launching a concerted effort to raise awareness around these issues, to break that silence and bring these issues out of the shadows. The number that really jumped out at me is in New York City that 45% of youth who are trafficked are boys. 45%, that's mm -hmm. almost half. What are the links, first of all, between sexual abuse, sex trafficking, and pornography? Pornography is absolutely linked to all of this. We see that young boys who watch violent pornography are more likely to report sexually abusing another child. Child on child sexual abuse is a rising problem in our country. And child sexual abuse is actually the strongest predictor of becoming a victim of trafficking later on in life. So we're absolutely seeing that those links exist. You said that you are going to raise awareness about this hidden and ignored suffering of boys. What are you doing? What are you asking lawmakers to do? Well, lawmakers can make a big impact by amending Communications Decency Act, Section 230. This is a law that's basically giving broad immunity to websites that are knowingly facilitating trafficking of boys and girls online. And so Congress can make a big effort by amending that law. Will we see a communications uh, campaign out of your center? Absolutely. You can learn more at endsexualexploitation.org slash CDA to learn more about that law. And what is CDA? Communication C Decency, Decency Act. Act. Okay, got <laughs> I got it. All right. Thank you so much. Haley Halverson, Director of Advocacy and Outreach at the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. Thank you.